it's TX Stamp and Sharon. It is Mystery Monday time. It is Monday, July the 26th at 4 p.m. I have a fly that is bugging me today. Here in Texas, we have flies. Of course, I'm sure most of the people do. But this one keeps flying around my face <laughs> and I can't catch him. I can't hit him. <laughs> Oh, goodness. All right. Hang on just a second. If you're here, I know that some of you have been chatting, and I hope that um, those of you who join us will be logged into your YouTube account, which is your Gmail address, um, to log in so that you can chat with me while we're live. If you're watching the replay after Monday, <laughs> see that dang fly, after Monday at 4 p.m. Central, um, you can comment below the video. Let me know what you think about today's project. Um, let me know if it inspired you because that's why I do these. I inspire you to use the supplies, stamps, ink, paper that you have at home. I do Mystery Monday stamping every Monday at 4 p.m. <laughs> if I get through this live without having a fit with that fly, it'll be a miracle. <laughs> He's going to distract me the whole time. Anyway, I apologize. Um, swat that fly good and proper. I'm trying, Christine, but he keeps going to my face, and I'm certainly not going to hit myself. <laughs> oh, gosh. So I was reading through the chat, and Mary Youngblood, we are still, uh, we, are, we are just, uh, just so sad at the disappearance or you know the missing of little Macy who is four years old um, in Arizona uh, washed away with the heavy rains that they've had this is monsoon season in Arizona and this monsoon season has really been hard for Arizona um, and I'm sure southern Utah as well lots more rain uh, we lived in Arizona for six years while I enjoyed monsoons I don't think we had them while I lived there as bad as what this year is so um, Roxanne, this is your first time to do Mystery Monday Stampin'. I'm so excited. I'm so glad you're here. And I'm sure if I could scroll back up, there are some other first timers. So I just wanna tell you, don't stress. Don't stress. Mystery Monday Stamping is all about having fun, chatting with your fellow mystery stampers, and, um, and just making a card. If you get lost on a clue or you don't understand something, then just go rogue. Okay, just make the card the way you want it to be. Okay, that's all you have to do. Get some hairspray. Okay, Mary. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. He landed. Nah, he flew away. <laughs> I'll go get some hairspray while y'all are working on your clues because this is getting ridiculous. <clears throat> um, hey, Mitch Scott, glad you're here. Cheryl Ash is here from Lake City, Florida. Um,. I thought you had such a hot summer. Oh, I do have a hot summer, but apparently hot summers don't bother flies. <laughs> um, Mitch wants the paint Christmas suite. Beautiful Christmas suite. It'll be available August the 3rd in the new mini that's coming out. I have been mailing out catalogs like crazy, and I have a whole nother list today. If you live in the United States and you don't have the new mini, catalog and the celebration brochure that is starting on August the 3rd. I'm happy to mail you one. If you will hop over to my blog, there is a tab at the top that says catalog. You can request a catalog there. It's a secure way for you to send me your address and I will get one in the mail to you. Again, that starts August the 3rd, so we have plenty of time for me to get it in the mail even if it's after August the 3rd and you're watching this uh, replay, I can still put one in the mail for you. So um, that catalog will um, go through. Um, oh, I'm not getting sun. Oh, I've got some sun. I've been to the beach a couple of times, Mitch. <laughs> um, oh, you're in New Zealand. Awesome. Mary Yates ordered it this weekend. It's a great set. So on Thursday night here on my YouTube channel at 7 p.m. Central, um, I know for those of you in Australia and New Zealand, it will be Friday. 
Um, but I will be doing an unboxing of all of the pre-ordered goodies that I could order as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I've tried to make some cards to share with you and I'm gonna try to do a lot more stamping in the next couple of days to give you some inspiration and some ideas for the sweets that I have chosen. Cheryl asks, Ash says, I spray my flies with Lysol. <gasps> I've got lots of that. Okay, I like that better than hairspray. Maybe it won't be as sticky. Um, Mitch wants to get the blackberry sweet. You know what? I tried today to sneak in to see if I could get it. No, still not available. As a demonstrator, we are able to order most of what's in the new catalog, but that is one sweet we couldn't order. So I thought today, I thought, I'm gonna try to order just the paper. Nope, <laughs> I couldn't get it. So, um, Diane, this is your, your first time doing Mystery Monday, and she is in Orlando, and it is hot there. I hope that you have fun with Mystery Monday. I'm getting ready to... Um, switch cameras and start with our clues. Uh, let's see. Oh, Molly enjoys the uh, email picture that I sent of my twin. If you're not on my newsletter list, um, I you can join below the video. Click the show more button if you're on a desktop. If you're on a mobile device, I think it's like the down arrow on the right. Um, but you can join my newsletter list. I shared a cute picture of my little twin. And that is my grandson, Baby Baylor. He had on his Hey Y'all shirt. It was actually a little onesie that I found for him. And um, and so I shared that in my newsletter. So let's switch cameras. I wanted to mention about the Creative 8 Retreat. I've been getting lots of emails lately about it. Um, a lot of you are saying that you can't join us live on August the 14th. Not a problem. You can... Um, Hop on whenever you're available after August the 14th. You will have access to the Facebook group forever, as long as it's there. And it is only $45 US. Those of you in Australia and New Zealand and all that, you can still uh, do the retreat. Um, you can live anywhere in the world. You can go to my, um, my blog, which is www.txstampin. And the very first thing at the top of the uh, page is the registration um, for the retreat. That's all the information, all your questions answered. On Monday, August the 16th, I will be emailing all of the tutorials and video links for you to refer to if you're not on Facebook or if you can't join us on the 14th. That is another option for you. Since I'm beginning a lot of um, questions about that. I thought I would just start talking about it on the lives when I'm doing it. If you have any questions, let me know in the chat. Thank you, Christine. I think Baylor is gorgeous too. He gives me lots of joy. First of all, there is an error. I had a typo. So I, when I did my Facebook live at noon on my Facebook page, I had a typo here. I had two and three quarters. If you don't want to change it to three and three quarters. You can still make the card. It'll be fine. Uh, the cards that I have seen that everybody has shared, they did two and three quarters and theirs was fine. Just so you know, that is three and three quarters. If you're watching the replay and you go to gather your supplies, I have corrected it here on the YouTube channel. So you don't have to worry about the wrong measurements. Other than that, we're good to go. Clue number two, I want you to add the designer series paper that measures four inches by four and a half towards the bottom of the card front with adhesive. There will be about three quarters of an inch above the DSP. So here is the top of my card, that line. So there's gonna be about three quarters of an inch. So you're putting that DSP towards the bottom. If you will do it that way, your card will look pretty close to mine. Uh, Kathy, I'm so glad that you're um, excited about Creative 8. We've already started with some pre-stamping challenges. Um, each week we're posting a different challenge and you can uh, join in and do some stamping. Um, we are also going to be doing some door prize drawings off, off of those that actually uh, participate. So it is super fun. And I hope that you guys, if you haven't found the challenges on the retreat page, look under guides if you're already on there. And um, yeah, let me know if you have any questions about the Creative 8 retreat. We're super excited. We've been working hard behind the scenes. 
We even have cute new shirts. We love t-shirts, don't we? <laughs> Oh gosh, so much fun. So when you're done with clue number two, type done two. Ah, oh, Kate, Kate Wright can't wait for the Creative Eight. I know, it's gonna be here before we know it. So um, if you haven't registered already, go ahead and do that so you can check out those challenges and, and do some stamping ahead of time. And then we are on all day long. It is a full day for the Creative Eight team. We are watching and helping everybody and making sure that everything runs smoothly. This is our fifth one to do. We opened it up when COVID started. We've been doing a few retreats with our teams only. If you're, uh, those on my team can actually have a chance to earn the retreat for free. But even at $45, you're gonna get, you're gonna get 10 presentations Lots of tutorials. I mean, it is very, somebody said, I think it was on one of the lives, that um, it's worth it just for the tutorials, even if you don't get on Facebook. Well, hello, Samantha. You're just watching today. Well, I hope that you enjoy today's card, Samantha, and I hope you'll give it a try. All right. Looks like you guys are done with two. Stamp your sentiment on the bottom right side, oh, I didn't change it here, of the basic white layer that measures two and a half by three and three quarters. That's supposed to be three. If you don't wanna change your paper, like I said, it's still going to work out just great. Um, Hello, Lois from Hobby Hill, Hobby House Hill, my one of my favorite retreat places. I hope you got some of your friends to do some mystery stamping with us today, and I know you guys are having a wonderful time. I'm kind of jealous. Hello, Zita from Germany. We've got people from all over the world mystery stamping with us today, and it just makes me so happy. If you're just tuning in and you don't know what we're doing, this is not your typical YouTube video where I'm demonstrating. This is where I give you clues to use the supplies you have at home to make a card. Simple as that. When you're done with clue number three, type done three. Oh, Samantha, you made Christmas cards from your last Monday's uh, mystery stamping. You know, that's really a great idea. Several of you guys will um, be doing, you know, like you're working on your Christmas cards all year long because you use Mystery Monday as your inspiration to make Christmas cards. Love it. Okay, so. have to fix a clue. Hello, Deb from Holton, Maine. We're so glad you joined us. Yeah, if you're just joining us, say hello in the chat. Um, if you're watching the replay afterwards, the chat box will be closed or you won't be able to reply there. Um, but you can always comment on my videos. I love to read them. I try to read them several times a day and respond as quickly as I can. Sue says she's going to order the set from your Thursday lab on her next order. August the 3rd. Perfect. Love it. Yeah, I'm going to have, um, I'm going to have fun on Thursday night. Thursday night, I have a, a card to share and then I have all of my goodies. And today I kind of ordered some more goodies. <laughs> so I'm going to have a lot to show on Thursday night. Everybody says they love the unboxings. I have it very organized. Um, I have things all bundled together, you know, all grouped together so that you can see it in person, well, on the camera in person. 
And you say that it helps you see things a little bit better than just in the catalog, especially the designer series paper. And I've got a lot of celebration stuff to show you too. Um, Diane says, oh, I see how this works. I don't have any materials with me, but we'll sure, sure try this at home. Okay, Diane, I hope you do. I do this every Monday at 4 p.m. I send out the first clue via email. If you're not on my newsletter list, um, you want to get on that. Um, I send that uh, first clue out every Sunday at 3 p.m. Central so that you have a good 25 hours to collect your supplies. And it's usually not much. Um, but yeah, super fun. Oh, Samantha, you did the penguins. That's cute. That's cute. I haven't played with the penguins yet. I need to. I, I've been working on the Creative Eight retreat. <laughs> so I hope... I hope that I can get to do some more, a lot of stamping in the next couple days and have some cards to share with you guys that, um, yep, there you go. Thanks, Sue. Okay, you guys are getting done with clue number three. And I hope you see, Diane, that I give you time to work each clue so that um, you don't get stressed. Like, mystery stamping is not meant to be stressful. I, I try to give you plenty of time to um, to finish the clue saw and until we solve the mystery, which is the final card. I think the penguins are adorable too, Mary. I think they're super cute. Maybe I'll play with that one. Okay, we're gonna move on to clue number four. Add three pieces of the different DSP with adhesive to the bottom of the basic white layer that measures two and a half by three and three quarters on the back so that it looks like three pieces of ribbon hanging off the bottom. Kind of different, okay? So this isn't my card. Don't, don't get excited, it's not my card. But it would be hanging off underneath your basic white layer. So pretend this is the basic white layer and it's just hanging off. You can crisscross it. You can have them going side to side. However you think ribbon should look under that layer, okay? Um, Zita, are you asking me what time it is? It is 4.17 p.m. on Monday, July the 26th. Well, Samantha, if you love my demonstrations, I'm so excited. Thank you. Um, I know, Sue, the penguin paper is super cute. I do have some, and I will be showing that on Thursday night. Michelle Dotson will send a, will a list of stamp sets used for the event be posted as we get closer to the event in August? Okay, so we have priced out the event to be very reasonable, $45. And each of us uses so many different stamp sets. Everybody stamps at a different pace. The Creative 8 Retreat is not designed for you to actually stamp along with us while we're presenting. What it is intended to do is to inspire you to use what you already have. And that's why we will, we will demonstrate one project and then we will give you two or three or more other ideas so that you can be inspired. You know, I might be making, um, let's say a Christmas card, and then I show you a masculine version using the same design or the same idea. And then you go, oh, I need a masculine card. So it is, you will not get a list of supplies um, because we use a lot because there's four of us. So we do not want you to think, oh, good grief. I can't afford to go to that retreat. Absolutely not. That's not what we in, intend. We intend to inspire you with the Creative 8 Retreat. I hope that answers your question. Uh, Diane, just an inquiry. Do we buy kits from you or do we use materials from our own stock? You use materials from your own stock. I do mystery stamping for free. All I do is create that first clue and email it out to you. This first clue, Diane, I email it out to you and then you are able to use what you have. Um, Samantha says, yes, I love your demonstrations and your Mystery Mondays, although PT is cutting into my Mystery Mondays. Oh, boo, 
Is that where you're at now, Samantha? Are you at PT? Are you doing your physical therapy? You better put that phone down. <laughs> you're so welcome, Michelle. I mean, like I said, $45 is worth it for the tutorials alone. We have a lot of fun during the retreat. We have a very special um, guest coming this time. All of, our, all of our guests have been very special. We try to have someone else that's not on the team. The team is myself, Brandy Cox, Connie Stewart, and Jackie Bullheis. Um, we are all stamping up demonstrators on different teams, but we work together to help our own teams and to bring these retreats to you. Ah, you just got home from PT. Yeah. Can you not change your time, Samantha? Can you say, can I come 30 minutes earlier? <laughs> I've got something important to do. Um, Carrie B, Grafton and Stampin'. I get so much inspiration from you and the other stampers on the Creative 8 page. Love being in this community. And um, Carrie, we're thrilled that you're part of the community. Carrie is on my team. She just joined recently and she is super excited and she is doing amazing with um, stamping and figuring out how to share with others. Um, I'm just, I'm so proud of her. I'm so happy that she is so excited. So let's see, the retreats are the best. I have been to all five, yay. Kathy says, for all you get in the Creative 8, the cost is well worth it. Thank you. I appreciate you saying that because I could say it all day long. And unless someone has been to the retreat, they may not realize that. So thank you, Kathy. Um, hello, Rebecca. It's your first time doing mystery stamping. I'm so glad you're having fun. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Okay, so lots of other comments. I'm seeing some dones with four. Okay, you guys are done with four. All right, hang on. Let's go to five. Add the basic white layer to the card front in the center of the designer series paper, but about a quarter of an inch from the top of the card with dimensionals. Okay, so remember my visual. Here's the top of the card. Here's our DSP. We're going to add that basic white layer so that it is like this in the center of the DSP and that you still have about a quarter of an inch up here. So that basic white layer is gonna hang off about a half an inch. Make sense? So we're gonna do that and we're gonna add that with dimensionals. Um, let's see. Kim Crane is asking, is it possible to get the retreat afterwards? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. You can get the tutorials and the videos for all of our presentations. Um, it will be about a week. Let me look at the date. Hold on. On August the 23rd, I will have them for sale on my blog under my shop and then tutorials. Kate Wright says, Creative Aid is totally worth the cost. It is so fun to watch what the demonstrators have prepared and you get all the tutorials for the cards made. So fun. And on Friday night, before the retreat kicks off on Saturday, we have a Meet the Creative Aid team Zoom that is always hysterical. Always. We have so much fun doing that. It's just a way for you guys to get to know us um, behind the cam off camera per se, because a lot of you follow us on YouTube and such. Um, but we just kind of let our hair down and have some fun. So that's always something to look forward to. Oh, that's awesome, Christine. Thank you for reminding. Um, yes, I do have a Facebook one at noon on Mondays, um, noon central. So that time may work best for you. Uh, Christine Davies says, second, second retreat for her. Hello, Mallory from Stockton, California. New to Mystery Monday stamping. Yes, ma'am. I can explain to you how to uh, get on the newsletter list. I send out inspiration sheets. I try not to send a whole lot of emails each week, um, but every Sunday at 3 p.m. Central, I send out the first clue for the Mystery Monday, okay? 
So to get the newsletter, you can go below this video and there's lots of links. There's links to my store, links to Pinterest, but one of those links is to sign up for my newsletter, okay? And then that way you will get that right delivered to your inbox. I do post it on my business Facebook page, but a lot of you on YouTube are not on Facebook, so. Um, Mary H says, that is so funny on Friday evenings. I mean, there is no telling what we will come up with. And this time Jackie is the, is the, I'll say ring later. She's the one running it. So there's no telling what she's going to ask us. Um, it's always fun. It's always fun. Um, Samantha says, oh, by the way, I love the new intro to your videos and the new music. Thank you. I'm so proud of it. If you don't know what she's talking about, go check out a video, not mystery stamping videos. I don't have it on this one, but all my other videos that I upload on Tuesdays, it's a, it's a cute little intro and I'm just so proud of it. I, um, I hired somebody to do that because I tried myself to do it and I couldn't come up with nothing near as cute. So Kate Wright says, Sharon, I made a card for you and posted on the Stampin' Friends Facebook group. I'll have to go look. Thank you. Um, sorry for so many questions. How do I provide you my email address? Okay, um, Diane, you're fine. Hold on just a second. Let me just grab this right here. Join my newsletter. Uh, let's see. Join my newsletter. Here's the link. And I'm scrolling back up. Come on. Yes, we have a surprise guest. And, okay, so at Diane. Okay, I just sent you the link to join my newsletter, okay? Hopefully that will help you. Um, surprise guests are fun. Yes, they are. Clue number six. Stamp the image on basic white scrap with ink. Cut it out. I didn't use that verbiage on my uh, Facebook one, uh, Mystery Stamping. Color the image now if it needs to be uh, colored. But you definitely want to cut it out with snips, dies, punches, whatever you want. When you're done with clue number six, type done six. You're so welcome, Diane. I do share some project ideas in the newsletter um, I also will give you updates on anything that's going on with Stampin' Up! Like right now, Designer Series Papers on sale until August the 2nd. Um, you know, we all say that we don't want to cut that pretty paper, but when you can get it on sale, go ahead and get it. And then that way you can, you can cut some of it, um, and not feel guilty. <laughs> Sue Tapia says, this will be my second retreat. They are so much fun. That is how I found Mystery Monday Stamping. And there you go, Sue. There you go. I will be doing Mystery Monday Stamping at the Creative 8 Retreat. I have got that all ready for you guys. I finished up the clues, the instructions for that. Um, Christine Davies, Friday nights on the retreat is a blast. Jackie is so different in all the best ways. Yes, she is. Jackie is my dearest friend. Um, we have known each other uh, at least 20 years, at least. Okay, Kathy is done with five and six. Let me know when you guys are done with six. We have about 125 watching. I know some of you are just watching and not stamping along, um, but I do hope that if you're just watching that you will watch the replay. Stop and start it and make this card. It's super easy. Um, I think the layout is fun and after 
seeing some of the uh, cards from the Friday, I mean, the noon Facebook mystery stamping. Everybody really interpreted this one differently, but I think, I think this would be a great Christmas card. You know, we're making several Christmas cards to send out. And when you're doing a lot, you want something that's pretty, but doesn't take you hours just to make one card. This one doesn't take you hours. Going to have to get an extra pack of the plentiful plants just for the brick wall. Um, yeah, after you see, after you attend the retreat, you're gonna want that plentiful paper. Mm -hmm. um, Christine Davies says, we are, we get to see all four ladies in a different light. Believe me, love it. Oh yeah, it's a different light. <laughs> We, 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 you know, at, we share some personal things, just things that, you know, we don't really have a chance to share in any other platform. So it's a lot of fun. Um, yeah, and Sue, the paper's on sale. So that's a good time to stock up. All right, I'm starting to see a few duns with six. What's wrong, Sue? What do you mean? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh gosh, <laughs> did we talk about that on the on the Zoom? <laughs> oh yeah, how Sharon goes topless mm -hmm. in my convertible, please. <laughs> but it does it does raise an eyebrow when I say that. Oh yeah, I went to the store and I went topless, and everybody goes, "Excuse me," <laughs> especially my son-in-law. The first time I told him, he's like, um, "Mom, you shouldn't do that. That's illegal." <laughs> Amanda says, I'll be gone that weekend. I will have to watch it afterwards. Ah, Amanda, I understand. You know, it is summertime. People do have um, vacation and travel plans. If you join the retreat um, before August the 14th, if you register, you will have access to the retreat group forever. And like I said, there's going to be so much shared on the Facebook group the tutorials and uh, videos that I will sell afterwards on August the 23rd won't have the inspiration that you guys share on the Facebook page. There will be an area for you guys to share. And so if you don't, if you don't register in time to get on the page, then you just miss that part. But otherwise, you're, you're good to go. So, oh, I see more paper money, Sue. Okay, I'll have to forego eating out. Well, it is on sale, so maybe you just eat a smaller portion when you go out to eat. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, I'm going to move on. I don't see very many more Duns with Six. If you're just now joining me, we are doing Mystery Monday Stamping. I do this every Monday here on my YouTube channel where I give you clues to make a card. Oh, okay, clue number five, Kim is asking to explain it again. So we're adding that basic white layer, a quarter of an inch, pretend this is the top of my card, and we have about three quarters of an inch up here. You're going to add it to the top of the uh, designer series paper with dimensionals. So it's kind of coming off like this. It's gonna be centered on the DSP. You're gonna have about a quarter of an inch at the top, so a half an inch of your basic white layer is going to hang off the top. So it's gonna look like that. Does that help you? Okay, we're gonna move on to seven. Add the image that you cut out to the left side of the stamp greeting on the basic white, white layer with adhesive. If your image hangs off a little bit, that's fine. You're using that basic white layer as a, as a jumping off point. Yeah, 
You know, I, I get notices from YouTube and with all of you guys doing the thumbs up and the commenting and the watching, I hit 200,000 views or watched, watched, watch minutes. Let me see what it says. Hold on. I don't want to say it wrong. Let me go back. And it, and it's like, wow, that's a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> okay. It says I have a new achievement, 2 million views. So that's huge guys. And it's all because of you supporting my channel and doing mystery Monday, stamping, commenting, um, I'm, it's just exciting when I see little achievement badges come up on my YouTube channel. Okay, you're so welcome, Kim. When you're done with seven, type done seven. And you know, I haven't really said it in a while, but if anyone needs help placing an order, I'm happy to help you um, because sometimes it's a little hard um, navigating, you know, what you're looking for on the website or anything like that. If you have challenges of any kind, you can always contact me. You can go to my blog to contact me that way. Um, and then um, I'm, I'm more than happy to call you, walk you through whatever it takes. Um, I don't want you to ever be frustrated when you're trying to place an order. So Linda says, where and when will the challenges post as I missed them all last year? Linda, if you're already on the Facebook group, there is a new tab on Facebook. Don't we all know how much Facebook changes? But this change is good. Look under the Guides tab, under the Retreat page, and there are already, let's see, three challenges. Um, so if you go there, you will see the challenges that have already been posted. Everything for the retreat is going to be under guides. I mean, they'll still be under discussion, but it'll be so much easier for you guys to find. This is going to be a smoother retreat than we've ever had. Um, oh, thank you. You guys are congratulating for my 2 million views. Um, CRS949 says, it's because you're so fun and creative. You make us feel like family. We're all family. We are all Stampin' Friends. And you guys support me, and I really appreciate that. I just, I just had to take that moment to thank you because, you know, when I'm doing a regular video, it's kind of hard to do that. But I do appreciate all of the support you guys give me on my YouTube channel. So thank you. Um, Christine Davy says I'll be at a surprise 30th birthday party for my nephew, so I'll have to have my retreat when we get back on Monday. Okay. All right, Christine, that sounds good. Have a wonderful time and happy birthday to your nephew. All right, I think you guys are done with seven. Clue number eight, add embellishments. My card needed embellishments. If you decide that your card does not need embellishments, then okay, no problem. Um, Aw, oh, Vicki Trevino, thank you. You work really hard and it shows through your organization. Kudos. Ah, oh, thank you so much. That is so sweet. I almost got that flap. <laughs> I didn't want to whap him during the thing, but I'm like, he is just driving me crazy. Oh yeah, I was going to go get the Lysol. We're almost done though now. He must have left. He must have heard you talking about the Lysol because he left. Um, thank you, Anna. It is so fun. You work really hard, okay? Kim Crane says, thumbs up. Yeah, thank you guys. I really, I really appreciate it. You know, the time that you take to watch my videos, all that goes into account. You know, YouTube, YouTube is really a great platform for us to share creativity on and to learn. I mean, how many times do I go, let's pull up a YouTube video <laughs> because it's somebody somewhere in the world has had trouble figuring something out and they made, um, they made a video. Um, Vicki says, I missed it. Is this retreat? Mm, retreat. What about, what about the retreat, Vicki? The retreat is August the 14th. Um, is this the Zoom retreat? So, no. Well, we do a Zoom 
on Friday night, Feb uh, August the 13th, so Friday the 13th, um, we will have a Zoom with the re uh, retreat people, and then it will be streamed to Facebook. So um, if you're in the Creative Eight retreat, summer retreat Facebook group, if you've registered for it, then you will see it there. Does that answer your question, Vicki? Thank you so much, Anna. I don't know if I said thank you. I was reading your comment. Um, congratulations, hon. That super sweet. I mean, like I said, I'm I'm honored. You know, <laughs> when I when I first started doing YouTube videos, I had no idea. And if you ever find any of my old ones, which I think Sue Walls has found some of my old ones, the lighting was terrible. This oh, it was awful. Um, but. You know, it's just, you learn as you go, you learn different things, you buy some extra lights and you know, you just, you just keep trying. And I started my YouTube channel when I didn't, I got moved to Arizona with my husband. We moved there seven years ago, didn't know anybody, but didn't want to not share stamping with people. So I started my YouTube channel and boy, like I said, whew, man, <laughs> those early ones, oh yeah, they're, they're lovely. <laughs> But you know what? It helped me grow and um, become more comfortable doing this. And you guys are always so super sweet. Even if I make a mistake, you're always like, eh, it's only human. You know, I always try to show you. I used to call myself the queen of boo-boos, but I kind of quit doing that. But I am. I, if I make a mistake, though, I'm going to show you how to fix it. Or I'm going to show you how I would fix it. So thank you, Suzette. I know two million. It's like, oh, oh my gosh, that's a lot. Um, Oh, okay. Vicki said, for a minute, I thought it was in person. No, it is on the uh, Facebook group. And so for those of you, Vicki, if you want to register and you need to know how to do that, you can contact me. Um, well, thank you, Mary. I'm glad I did too. Clue number nine, add the basic white layer that measures four inches by five and a quarter to the inside of your card with adhesive. Some of you like to stamp first before you add it. So totally your call if you want to do that later. Um, but this is the last clue for today's uh, Mystery Monday. And so you can type all done, all done, if you're done with your card. Um, Lori from p and I'm late and will finish watching this live, then catch the replay to do my cards. Thank you, Sharon, for doing this fun activity. You're so welcome. I'm so glad that you enjoy it. Margaret Burkett says, I learned so much from you. Thanks. You're so welcome. You know, like I said, YouTube is a great platform to um, help show how to use something or do something, you know. Um, so I'm really glad that I started. Sue Wall says, did you move from Texas to Arizona and now back to Texas? Yes, ma'am. I did. Always wondered about the Texas, the TX when you were in Arizona. I know, but I didn't want to change my name because I knew one day I'd be back in Texas. Yes, ma'am. I've got too many kids and grandkids. I have five kids who are all married and 11 grandkids that live in Texas. So I knew I'd be back one day. So I didn't want to change my business name. <laughs> oh, that's funny. The links are not working. Uh, which links? Here on the video? Underneath the video? Uh-oh. I clicked on one and you're right. Um, let's see, let's try this one. Okay, that one worked. Um, so it looks like join my newsletter is not working. Is that what you're saying? Let me go back up. Uh, I, D, I will check on the link. Um, I don't know why it's not doing that. Denise in Dallas says she couldn't weigh from the great state of Texas. Absolutely not. Okay, I can't wait to share. Oh, Helen is done and she loves her card. Okay, so I can't wait to share with you my card and where the inspiration came from. Here is my card. 
See how I did my, my ribbon tails of DSP? Because I copied this card in the catalog. Sue Topia says she's all done. She went a little rogue. That's awesome. Rogue is always, always encouraged on Mystery Monday. Just make a card, do it your way. So I'm gonna pick this up a little bit. I cased it per se, but I changed the paper, you know, that beautiful DSP. Um, and I guessed at where the paper, the DSP was. I, so I said about three quarters of an inch. Um, but this, this is the card. That's where I got it from. So I just wanna point this out because the artist in the, um, the artists that design the cards, they give you inspiration. So when you don't know what to do, look there and then jump off from that and make the card your own. Just like y'all did on Mystery Monday today. Nobody's card is gonna look like mine. If it is, it's gonna be a miracle. Um, but just know that you can be inspired here on my blog, on my YouTube channel, but Mystery Monday stamping is, it's, it's to inspire you to be creative using what you have. So there you go. Okay. Mary says, I'm half Zona, half Texan. I get it. You know, when I first moved to, um, <laughs> to Arizona, someone said, huh, now you're a Zoni. I was like, but I'm a Texan. <laughs> Debbie says, mine is so different. And that's fine. That's how it should be. Even though I kind of gave y'all some visuals and told you where to put the DSP and things like that, your card is your card. All I did was inspire you to make your card. Um, Linda says, where do I send images of my card to? So if you're on Facebook, you can post your card on my business page, Sharon Armstrong Stampin' Up! Demonstrator. You can post it there. Um, I do have, and I'm gonna check those links. I have some links below that, um, Mm, nope, I don't. I don't have them here. You can't post them on YouTube. That's the challenge. You can't, um, you can't post um, pictures. Okay, that link worked. Okay, who was it that said, I'm, okay, I'm checking all the links now and they're working. So who says the link's not working? Can you tell me again which link you tried? Um, so yeah, that's, um, that's the only way you can do it is to post it on my business page. I do have some Facebook group pages, uh, Mystery Monday Stampers. If you start typing that on Facebook, you can post your card there. You can post it on Instagram and use the hashtag Mystery Monday Stamping if you know how to do that. Um, I have several siblings in Central Texas. I get to visit several times a year. Well, I'm in Central Texas. I'm in Kyle. I am south of Austin. Um, my ribbon looks nothing like that, says Teresa, and that's okay. That's okay. How would you know? I didn't want to really, I, I thought if I told you to trim it to a point, y'all would have trimmed it this way. It still wouldn't have looked the same, but that's okay. Uh, let's see if there's anything else. Lori is asking, what did y'all use on your cards? Kate Wright said, Sharon is the most inspiring because she is so giving and generous. The best. Aw, thank you. That's so sweet, Kate. Linda says, what a fun card. Thanks so much. I used the Wildcat set, so mine is very, very different. I love the idea to use Mystery Monday stamping to make Christmas cards. There you go. There you go. Um, Christine Davies is a now I'm an honorary Texan too, y'all. <laughs> a lovely card. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. We always have a good time on Mystery Monday stamping. I double checked all the links and everything looks like it's working, but I will look again when I get off. I'll check on my big computer. But if you have any trouble contact or finding a link or something, go to my blog. My blog is there all the time. You can contact me, you can request a catalog. Always use that link um, if you have any questions or um, need me to reply to you. So, um, okay. All right. And Suzette loves her card. Awesome. Thank you. Okay, guys, come back on Thursday night at 7 p.m. Central because I got lots to share with you. Um, I promise I'll get busy stamping cards and try to inspire you with what I've bought. So happy stamping, y'all. Bye.